Welcome to your two-minute report. I'm Army Sergeant Luciano Vera. Typhoon Kumpasu struck the Central Korean Peninsula early Thursday morning, bringing heavy rains and strong winds. Petty Officer Samantha Stark is with a resident who was well prepared for the storm. It woke me up and the winds were howling. Typhoon Kumpasu passed over Korea and left down trees and power lines in its path. Luckily, my house didn't have too much damage. Uh, but looking on post, it's uh, really pretty devastating looking at these big trees that have been here probably for 50 years. They're not going to be replaced overnight. They're, they take such a long time to develop and grow. Service members and families did their best to prepare. Before uh, last night, I took everything off my patio that could, be, that could have been used to go through my windows and things. Um, I'm also from Florida, which is, um, we call them hurricanes, but we're prone to hurricanes. So we took preventative measures, made sure we had plenty of water. In addition to malfunctioning traffic lights and no cable TV service, 1.62 million households experienced blackouts all over Korea. This was the largest power outage by a natural disaster in the country's history. Watching Korean TV, it looks like there's been some big flooding, some heavy winds and rains, and uh, I feel for the Korean people because it's really hitting some of their greenhouses and things like that were particularly hard hit. I'm Petty Officer Samantha Stark, Yongsan, Korea. According to meteorologists, Kumpasu was the seventh typhoon in the Korea region this year. Kumpasu was the strongest typhoon to hit Seoul, Korea in over 15 years. And that's your two-minute report. I'm Army Sergeant Luciano Vera.